Hi, and welcome back to the channel. This week's problem is an interesting one, I think, and got a slightly longer video than last week for you. Uh, what is the shaded area? We've got a square here, which is not drawn to scale, uh, and the rest, of the rest of the diagram is not drawn to scale. That's important. Uh, we've got a line P to C of length 6 root 2. Uh, we have got a line of C to Q of length 4 root 6, and an angle between those two line segments of 60 degrees. Uh, can you work out the shaded area, which is the combined area of those two triangles? If you want to have a go at this problem yourself, pause the video now. Otherwise, I'm going to show you my solution in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so the first thing uh, is to say that I've got two methods to show you for this. So method one, I'm going to start by labeling uh, some of the angles. So I'm going to label this one alpha and this one beta. Now from there, I can put beta in terms of alpha because I could do 90 take away 60 take away uh, alpha. Okay, that can simplify to give us 30 minus alpha. Right. Now, we know that the square must have the same side length, so I'm going to call those x for now. I'm then going to use uh, right angle trigonometry, because obviously we've got right angles in the corners of the square, to uh, get some expressions for x. Okay, so looking at triangle CDP, uh, I'm going to use cos, cosine, uh, cos of the angle is adjacent over the hypotenuse, so we're going to get cos of alpha is x over 6 root 2. Now, by the same token, using the same method with triangle BCQ, I'm going to rearrange that quickly, but yeah, using the same method, I'm going to get cos of 30 minus alpha is equal to x over 4 root 6, and I'm going to multiply, uh, like I did with the one previously, by that denominator there, to get 4 root 6 cos 30 minus alpha equals x. Now, from there, I could put them equal to each other because they're both equal to x. However, I want to sort out this cos 30 minus alpha first. And I'm going to do that using this uh, formula, identity. Okay, so cos of x minus y is equal to cos x cos y plus sine x sine y. It's an identity, not a formula. Identity. Um, so, from there, what I'm going to do is uh, my x in this well, in terms of this identity, is going to be 30. My y is going to be the alpha. I'm going to substitute in, and I'm going to get this. 4 root 6 times by all of cos 30 cos alpha plus sine 30 sine alpha equals x. Now, I'm going to work out the values of cos 30, sine 30, and substitute those in. So I get root 3 over 2 times cos alpha plus a, plus a half times by sine alpha. Right, now I'm going to times both of those things by 4 root 6 and get rid of the brackets. So I get 6 root 2 cos alpha plus 2 root 6 sine alpha is equal to x. Now I'm going to put those two things, those two equations, equal to each other because they're both equal to x. And I'm going to get 6 root 2 cos alpha plus 2 root 6 sine alpha is equal to 6 root 2 cos alpha. Now, subtracting 6 root 2 cos alpha from both sides of that equation, we are going to get 2 root 6 sine alpha is equal to 0. That means if I divide both sides by 2 root 6, that sine alpha must be equal to 0. Now, looking at the sine curve, the sine graph here, now, Alpha can only be between 0 and 30 at most. Yeah, the maximums it could be. So the only solution we've got here for having um, sine of the value being 0, that means essentially the height of that curve being 0, is 0. So that means alpha is 0. Now, I did say it at the start, and I've kept it on the screen the whole time, this diagram is not drawn to scale. And so actually what this means is the diagram looks like this. Okay, there is only one triangle because the side length is 6 root 2. I'll go back a second just to show you. Alpha is 0, so the distance between PC and DC is, well, 0. They're the same line. Uh, and so we've only got this triangle uh, CQB or BCQ, whichever way you want to uh, identify that. Uh, but X is 6 root 2. And so we've then got the angle uh, beta originally is 30, and so we can work out the area of that triangle, the shaded area, by doing a half times 4 root 6 times 6 root 2 times by sine 30, a half AB sine C. Now sine 30 is a half, 
half times a half is a quarter. Four root six times six root two is 48 root three. A quarter of that gives us a final answer of 12 root three units squared. Well done if you did this yourself and you got the same answer. Now I'm going to show you another method here, which is quite neat, I think. So if you did it yourself, maybe you did it this way. So method two is, well, we've got these same angles again, alpha and beta, and I'm going to go through the same process as before. Beta is 90 minus 60 minus alpha, so that's the same as 30 minus alpha. Now, we know uh, that C to D is going to be the same length as B to C because it's a square. So if we were to make some more space, but if we were to take this triangle CDP and line it up next to uh, triangle BCQ, we know they would line up exactly because they've got the same length side, as I say, CD and BC. We know that uh, that length on the right-hand side is 6 root 2, okay, because that's the same length here. And then we've got the angles of 30 minus alpha and alpha, which, when put together, give you a total angle of 30 degrees. So then we've got the triangle again, 4 root 6 on one side, angle of 30 degrees between the two sides, and 6 root 2 on the other side. And so we can work out the total shaded area again by doing a half AB sine C with the same values, a half, 4 root 6, 6 root 2, and sine 30, giving us a total answer of 12 root 3 units squared. A quicker method, I think a nice geometrical method, if you can see it, um, but sometimes you can't always see those things. So yeah, if you got that method as well, well done. If you got the, the right answer again, well done. All that's left to say is thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and those two methods, make sure to drop a like on the video. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you already to all the people that do. And thank you so much for watching. There'll be another uh, video at Monday at 5 p.m. like every week uh, for you to watch next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.